wave is an S shape. So if you break that S shape down into two, you've got two C shapes going in the opposite direction. So we're going to start off with our first C up at the top here. And it's important that you start off at the open end of the C. This is our first C shape here. And in order to, you can always create a C, but if you do one side of the C and come back again without putting your finger in, you see all the hair moves. So you need to go back, put your finger on there before you come back and create the rest of the C shape. Bring all the hair forwards. Now you have to press your finger down quite hard on that, the hair there or else it, it just um, or else it will move. So once you've got your hair forwards, now what you need to do now is you need to keep this hair flat. So don't be tempted to sort of pull the hair forwards like that. You need to keep the hair flat on the head and you need to gently nudge the hair forward with the comb. So the hair is already going in that direction. What you're doing is just giving it a little nudge, a little push in the back, a little nudge forward so it goes a little bit further forwards. So a little nudge in the same direction, then you move your fingers down. And that's our first wave. And then our second wave is going to come back this way. You might find it easier at this stage to secure that one wave in place instead of moving your fingers down. So I'm going to secure, so we'll do one wave at a time. So there's my first wave and I've put that clip in there just to help keep the hair in that shape. Now keeping my finger here, I can then bring this in backwards into this direction. Now again, what you're not going to do is push the hair forwards. You're going to take the comb flat on the hair and push it in that direction. Then move my fingers down and over the comb and then I've got my second finger wave here. Now be careful what you don't, in order to make sure you get that crest, what you don't want to do is be pulling the hair down. The further down you bring the hair, the less of a crest you get. You'll still get your wave, but you don't get a crest. So keep the hair, you need to sort of nudge it upwards a little bit. I'll move my fingers down, get another clip pop it on there and now I've got another one here and it's just waiting for me here now it's already there. You'll find finger waves on the heads, they're much easier so it's a really good way to practice this technique. And then just at the end here I'm going to use my little up and over technique to secure that in place. Now I'll show you the finger waves from a different angle. Take the hair, brush it back into this direction so if we just do one wave at a time to start off with, later on you can start to sort of create more waves and you'll be able to start moving your fingers down a little bit more like sort of that before you start to clip. But just start off doing just one wave at a time. So I'm going to notice, the, notice how I'm pushing the hair back here, not pushing all the hair back. I'm keeping the hair flat and quite wide putting the comb on top and the comb needs to be parallel to your finger. So don't have the comb at an angle because it won't work. You need to keep your comb parallel to your finger at all times. Nudge the hair back so you're almost pushing it in that direction as if it's a little bit reluctant to move. Give it an extra little nudge. Swap your fingers over and then you can take the comb out. Now if you're confident and you feel you can create the next wave without putting the clip in just by moving your fingers down you can do that but if not you can just put your clip in here so then your fingers are free again you can do the next one so it's already going in that direction just take the comb flat on the hair and push nudge the hair forwards and then you can swap your fingers move your fingers down make sure you keep all the hair nice and tidy Get another clip in there and then bring this one back. I think we can just do one more there. Then I'm going to use a fine pin. Use a blonde one here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just taking the end of the hair, straighten up the pin. Doesn't work if they're bent. Go in, take some of that nice secure hair, go up and over and back in. Do one more down at the end there. Make sure that's hidden. So use a really strong hairspray just to finish the style. And then just let that set maybe for 10 minutes. And then what you can do once you've finished, care carefully take the hairpins out. 
And then what we need to do then is make sure that the, the waves stay flat to the head. So then you just use one of your fine hairpins. So you're going to do like a little bit of a running stitch. You go pick up some hair from underneath, pick up a little bit of hair from the wave and go down again, up and down and just do like a little running stitch along the hair. That will just help to hold the curl, the waves flat against the head and it will stop them lifting up. So let's do one more here. So pick up some of the hair underneath with your fine pin. Pick up a little bit of the wave. Making sure nothing shows too much. And we'll just hold the wave nice and flat. So go in, press your finger down, pick a bit of the hair underneath the wave, and then with a little sort of running stitch, stitch action, just pick up a little bit of the hair from the wave and that will hold it just nice and flat to the head. I can just see a little bit of that hairpin there, so I might just do that one again because I don't want it to be visible at all. So just take your time, make sure you're happy with the result. So it should be invisible when everything's finished, but it should just be holding it. I might need to just push that down a little bit. That's it, that's better. And that will stay nicely in place.